It's been a month in politics like none other. The result of the referendum will reverberate for decades. The immediate aftermath with a change of prime minister was dramatic, even for seasoned politicians. This isn't normally what happens in politics, but I mean, this is amazing. I am so proud to be there to see it. It is incredibly exciting. But now as a government, we need to be very unexciting and we need to get on and make sure that Brexit is something that is beneficial for this country. But he was one casualty of the changes, losing his front bench job as Minister for Disabled People. You are disappointed. Anybody who says they're not, that they can't, they can't be being honest there because I loved it. As a minister, you can be sent out on, on some really interesting and fascinating visits. And one highlight for me was when I went to Minehead to see Fox's Academy, this brilliant former Grand Hotel that's now a social enterprise giving young adults with learning disabilities real practical skills towards getting jobs as well as um, gaining the skills for independent living. His work as MP for North Swindon is unaffected, such as seeing a large cheque handed to a local charity cafe. He remains enthusiastic. Not diminished. I love it. I'm incredibly lucky. I'll never forget, I said to my careers teacher at school that one day I'd like to be uh, an MP and he laughed and said, you've got no chance. That keeps me going. A month since the Brexit vote, the political excitement has a long way to go. Paul Bartrop, BBC Points West, Swindon.